Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ron from Healthy Me, back with another video. Today we're discussing diabetes, um, how to treat it, how to get rid of it. Is it reversible? Is it treatable? Is it curable? I don't know, but stay tuned. Hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you inside. Hey, welcome back guys, and this is Ron. Today I'm in my car. Um, I just thought I'd make a quick update video on what's happening with my health. Um, as you know, I, I created that lose 30 pounds in 30 days video and, uh, and I was using that method. It was working very well, but at the same time, my body was going through a lot of changes and I was losing a lot of weight. I didn't know what was happening. I was getting dizzy. I thought I wasn't eating enough calories. So then I went to the doctor and it turns out I have diabetes. So now I'm thinking like, okay, um, all this weight loss is not because of the lose 30 pounds in 30 days. It's because of the diabetes. Not that that lose 30 pounds in 30 days won't work, but I mean, just ironic that all of that happened at that exact time. But now what's been happening with me and my health? Um, I, I went to the doctor, they diagnosed me with diabetes. My blood sugar was like 480. I guess that would be close to like 20 and in, in the other uh, method. Of, I, honestly, I don't know what the other one is called, but over here uh, in the Middle East, we use a, a different method. It's like 480. It should be like around 90 to 100. Mine was quadruple and I was dizzy and I didn't know what was happening. So um, they're like, if it goes to 600, you could go into a coma. I was like, wow, that was just cutting it a little bit too close. So, um, <clears throat> and just to let you know, I have a history of diabetes in my family. My dad has it. All of his brothers have it. And uh, it, it, it's, not a, it's not a pretty disease. Um, um, for those who have it, the type 2 diabetes, you know, you're, you, you can't absorb the insulin and so your body's not able to cope with the sugar that's going through your bloodstream or through uh, through the system and so it just kind of dumps it into the blood and that's not good for your other organs so uh, what I've been doing is I've been taking care of what I'm eating eating only like greens salads avocado eggs etc and I'm I'm literally beating it like uh, last couple of days in the morning I wake up my blood sugar is 120 and I'm not taking any meds I have my meds with me um, and, and I'm just not taking them because I don't want to take meds for the rest of my life. I've been watching other videos how people have been reversing diabetes. Uh, reversing, I don't know if it's a cure, but when they say reverse, they're saying that you don't need medication. I'd rather be on no medication than be on medication for the rest of my life because of side effects and I don't want to treat my body badly and just take a pill and let it dump the sugar into my cells or whatever it's doing and taking it out of the blood because it's not really fixing things it's just kind of stopping the high numbers of blood sugar so I'm as I said I'm gonna be doing a healthier method this is the healthy me channel and so everything I'll be doing would be a natural way so as I was doing the lose 30 pounds in 30 day challenge I noticed that I was very, very thirsty every day and drinking like close to three liters of water. I just couldn't drink enough. And I was just kept going to the washroom and washroom and washroom. And I was saying like, wow, my body is really changing. This is fantastic. And then after I was like, this isn't right. So I had to go to the doctor. And uh, when I did the blood test, they told me, yeah, uh, this is this is diabetes and you need to like go on a diet and etc. etc." I told the doctor that I've been, I did a little research beforehand. <clears throat> And I said that I don't want to take the meds and that if I were to diet and watch what I eat closely, that I, that, I, that I won't need to take the meds. And what she told me was, you can try that for a week, see how it goes. And if, and if, it, and if you are doing all right with your blood sugar counts, then, uh, then you can keep going. But you're doing it at your own risk. I don't recommend it. So I said, fine, let me try it. So I tried it and it actually is working. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I have uh, readings on my blood glucose uh, machine that you can see when I started and where it is now. And what I'm gonna be doing is, um, every couple of days I'll be taking readings in the morning and after lunch, just to show you guys how I'm doing without taking any meds. Um, so, you know, I've did, done some experiments. I had a donut, I had pizza, and, and you know, I've, I've tried just to see how it spikes 
And so when I do eat things like that, it goes up to like 220, 250. Um, and when I when I eat well, it stays around 140, 160, depending like after I eat, I mean. But when I'm not eating, it's around 120, sometimes 110. And, and this is without meds. And I think that's in a natural range. I, if you look at uh, ranges that you should be at, it should be between like 80 and 100, 120. So I'm in that range without any medicine. And for those of you out there with diabetes type 2, there's something called intermittent fasting. Intermit intermittent fasting is when you um, you don't eat. What, <laughs> what that means is you don't eat for 16 hours, up to 18 hours, and then you eat for, let's say, 6 hours. So you'll stop eating, let's say, at 6 p.m. You'll go through the night without any food, and then you'll wake up the next day, and you'll eat again around midday lunch it depends on how early on your diagnosis is if you if your blood sugar counts are in the high two three four hundreds then it's highly recommended that you fast for longer after around a week or two after you can stabilize normalize your blood sugar levels then you can you know reduce the fasting amounts and the more you fast obviously the more your blood sugar will go down and you'll get used to it I mean there's so many delicious things that you can be eating like I eat eggs in the morning with avocado you should be eating fats you should be having oils because the body naturally burns fats and oils before it eats carbs oh sorry before it burns carbs so from what I read on and from what I've seen uh, from my research on, on how to kind of live with diabetes type 2 is to have fat you know so my breakfast would consist of like let's say three scrambled eggs I'll put some full uh, full fat milk in it to give it a little bit more fluffiness I'll put some sour cream half an avocado with some olive oil and salt and you guys might be thinking like wow that's a lot of fat but you know what I haven't gained any weight I haven't gained any weight <clears throat> and that's just my breakfast for lunch if I can, I'll have the same thing. You know, I'm, I'm a really big lover of eggs and, and sour cream and avocado. It tastes really good, but, you know, that's just my taste. You can also have, like, uh, broccoli-inspired salads. Uh, you can also have asparagus-inspired salads. Anything that's green. Um, there's that one vegetable that's called bit, uh, bitter gourd. Bitter gourd is actually excellent for you to have in a salad. It tastes really bad. But you can put some different flavorings on it to make it taste as you like. Cumin, spicy stuff, um, oregano. It depends on what you like. But you can make it uh, more rich and flavorful by adding some, um, some spices on it. And it doesn't taste that bad. But it's supposed to be really good and it's, it's helped me keep my blood sugar low. Um, also apple cider vinegar. One teaspoon in a bottle of water. Uh, also, before you eat, helps you normalize blood sugar levels by slowing down the digestive system it slows down the speed of or the rate that you digest so the sugars don't enter the system as quickly and your body is able to absorb it in a much more efficient manner i'm going to be showing you records of the blood glucose uh, tracker so you can see how it started and how it is now i even have a like a medical record that I can prove that my blood glucose was at like almost 400 when I first got it start when I first started. Not that you guys won't believe me, but you know, just to, for tracking purposes. And so uh, yesterday morning when I checked it, it was at 121. Usually it's a little bit higher in the morning for some reason. It's around 10, 15 higher than the night before. It, it raises maybe it's some uh, hormonal thing. I don't know exactly, but. That's just what I found. And, um, you know, as, as bad as this disease is, it's kind of opened my eyes to what I should be eating. Um, I haven't taken a sip of any cola or any juice because juices are like so high in sugar that fructose, it just, it just spikes my blood sugar instantly. So just be careful for those out there who are drinking a lot of uh, juice from concentrate. The sugar levels are extremely high. Be careful. Um, I've stopped eating bread almost completely because, you know, obviously blo uh, the blood sugar spikes as soon as you have 
bread because bread just turns right into sugar. Um, so it's been primarily like meats, fish with veggies. Yeah, th that's basically my diet. And in the morning, it's eggs with avocado and some cream or some cheese. Just like I said, have fats. Fats are awesome for you because they actually allow you to burn fat. As I said earlier, your body burns fat before it burns carbs. Carbs is not a natural food. Or at least it's not part of the, the, the natural food groups. I mean, there's protein and there's fats. Those are the essential foods that you need to be eating. So as fats is an essential food, you should eat some. You know, get a, a scoop of sour cream in the morning or an avocado uh, with some olive oil and salt and lemon on it. Tastes fantastic. I can't get enough of it. So yes, it sucks to, to get something like this. I remember I told you in, in previous videos that I was pre-diabetic and then I stopped eating meat and cheese and blah, 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 and then it went away. You know, I'm going to try that again. But in the meantime, um, I'm going to continue with what I'm doing. Um, my blood glucose levels can be controlled and I, I can prove it to you in the morning readings that I'm going to be showing you. And so I don't really know what else to say, you guys. You know, I'm really sorry if anyone else out there is struggling with it. Um, I've spoken with people who have reduced their blood glucose levels, but instead of taking like their regular dosage with intermittent fasting and diet, they've only taking like one pill in the morning and that's it compared to the dosage what they used to take before. So, but you know, I don't want to take any medicine. So I'm going extreme, like army style. I'm not saying that you should. You should also consult with your doctor first and foremost to make sure that you're doing the right thing. But common sense says that if you were to eat what I'm eating, it's only going to be good for you whether you have diabetes type 2 or not. So, but obviously this isn't medical advice and um, you should always consult initially with your doctor to see what's going on, to see if there's any damage to the kidneys or, 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 or what might be happening around in your body. And you can always tell from your body the signals your body will tell you if something is wrong. Like when I was losing that weight, <clears throat> like I knew something was wrong. But at the same time, the, the, the strangest thing that happened to me was I got my eyesight back. Like I used to wear glasses and I'm sure you've seen in my other videos <laughs> that I used to wear glasses. But now my, my vision has been restored. 80%. Like I'm driving now with no glasses. So you might think like, what? And I'm thinking the same thing, what? But you know what? <laughs> it's there, it's, it's better, and even my wife is like, holy cow, right? Say holy cow. Holy cow, and I tell him to take his glasses to work every day with him just in case something happens. Yeah, so I have them now hanging on my, uh, on my shirt just in case. So I, I'm not saying that you're gonna like get your eyesight back, but you know, it's just a strange <clears throat> phenomenon. That, that happened to me yep but you know what it's all good I guess you take the good with the bad um, my as I said my weight hasn't uh, moved uh, after eating all that fat that I'm eating um, so but you know I am a little bit constipated after being diagnosed so I used to be very very regular I could go to the washroom easily two three times a day and now it's just once yeah but you have changed your diet you have changed your diet which means go less yeah so I have changed my diet my wife is right it's 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 a lot smaller portions and a lot more green and a lot more it's healthier, uh, it's healthier vegetable based so maybe less volume too less volume so yeah maybe that's the reason but you know what I, I think I should be going a little bit more but you know what I think that's just whatever that's just my uh, what I'm used to but you know that's me that's what's happening with me I'd love to hear your comments guys I'd love to hear how you guys are battling this. You know, I know there's going to be a lot of people who are saying, you know, I can eat whatever I want. I just have to take my medicine. And that's fantastic for you guys who believe that. If that's working for you, keep going, guys. Don't stop. For me, I don't want to do that. I don't want the side effects of medicine. I want to do this the natural way. And who knows, I might just be able to reverse this. Or at least keep it under control. Yeah, or ever. Or at least keep it under control forever without having to worry about it. And and in the end, honestly, how I'm eating is the best choice for anyone on this earth. So, yeah, I can't indulge, but you know what? 
I had a donut yesterday, a, a chocolate cruller. Those are really good. It's so yummy. It, they, those are really, really good. But you know what? You know what? I had one, and then my my sugar went up to like two twenty, and then after you know, it went back down again. So, so there you go, guys. That's that's why I haven't been making any videos lately um, about the hair, about the uh, about the weight loss, because I've been dealing with my own things, struggling with trying to get on top again with my health. I feel that I'm a lot healthier now, even though I have type two diabetes. Um, I feel like I'm a lot, a lot healthier. I've started exercising because that's also another important aspect of getting rid of blood sugars. So I'm doing my push-ups in the morning, sit-ups, squats. Because it burns the sugar in the muscle. Yeah, because it, it, it actually eats the glucose that's in the, the bloodstream. You have to feed the muscles. And as you grow your muscles, that also helps in, in allowing you to burn more glucose. So for those of you out there, eat well and work out. Go for walks. Get active. Be healthy. Let's do be it happy be happy so there you go guys um as i said I'd, I'd really love to hear your comments concerns you know whatever you whatever you might be feeling maybe you guys have some great advice on on the intermittent fasting and i i will add links to the video to to, to the videos that i've been watching and learning how to control this these are conducted by doctors who are using controlled experiments and uh, there are many many videos that you can watch out there and for those of you who want to actually take the high road the right path whatever you want to call it there are solutions out there without medicines for those of you who can't afford the medicines you know it's there are other alternative methods I'm not doing anything out of the normal or out of the norm I'm just eating healthy basically what you should be eating if we were cavemen I think I'm not an expert on, on, on diet or nutrition, but it's uh, it's something that we should be doing anyway. So again, this is Ron for Healthy Me, and that's Fadwa. Yep, and we're feeling good, uh, losing weight. You can see my face, obviously, from the previous videos, um, how much I've changed, and uh, I hope it's for the best. <laughs> so, um, you know... Uh, I'm not wearing glasses anymore. We lost a lot of weight. And that's just the way that it is right now for me. So um, please, guys, you know, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to keep making videos on the progress of my diabetes type 2, on my hair, on my weight loss, on my blood pressure. Oh, by the way, my blood pressure, I don't even check it anymore. Literally, uh, the last time I checked it, it was 108 over 76 it's like the lowest I've ever had so that blood pressure that I was having was a precursor to this diabetes so um, if you guys have high blood pressure out there that's a sign or if you guys have high uh, what's it called cholesterol that's a sign something's going on something's about to break you know so just FYI my blood pressure is 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 normalized I don't even check it anymore Although I should, but, you know, it's okay now. So, we can call that healed. Stamp of heal. Psh. Next is diabetes. Stamp of heal. Psh. I wish. Let's see. Keep, it, keep watching the videos and uh, let's get some motivation in the comments and I'll, I'll see you guys soon. So, this is Ron signing off for Healthy Me. Cheers. Be your best in 2018. Do the greatest. Do the greatest. Be the greatest and do all that you can. This is Ron signing off. Fedwa? Bye.